Hello, it's Brandon again. Um, today we are out in just past the gorge, just past the Dalles in Oregon. Um, leaving from the Deschutes River State Recreation Area. Um, we're kind of just going along the Deschutes River Trail, which believe it or not follows the Deschutes River and um, this should be an easy out and back it's um, kind of however far I want to make it I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do 30 total 15 today 15 tomorrow it's um, 11 30 in the morning right now uh, 29th of March so basically April we're very close to spring and this is by far the best day of the year that I've lived through um, we're supposed to be highs in the low 60s today and um, I feel like we've had only one other day that has broken 60 so far so I'm hoping that we uh, actually get these advertised temperatures and um, that today is as good as it's been advertised. Um, lows in the 40s, not super cold. The real purpose of this hike today is to um, really get a feel for my gear for the PCT. Um, it's also a monumentous hike because unless something incredible happens, so, you know, skies are relatively blue, not too much clouds, not, not too many clouds. Ew. Um, so there's, I don't expect there to be really any precipitation. And more importantly, I don't expect there to be any snow. And I know that there's no snow on the ground. So this is the first backpacking trip at this point that I have ever been on in which there has not been snow in some form or another and it was actually kind of hard to choose to come out here because I didn't want to break the streak but had to break eventually so uh, it's a pretty easy trail not much elevation change I think that uh, it's it kind of is rolling throughout the you know the entire length but you know our low is like under 200 feet above sea level and our high is like just over 400 feet so barely anything so it should be pretty easy um but i think it'll be a, a perfect time to really test out my gear and um figure out if this is what's going to work for me especially uh starting in the desert uh, May 15th on the PCT so uh, you know today's a warm day but uh, it's it's gonna be you know much much worse in a couple months here or a month and a half so um, just kind of trying to dial it in figure out what works what doesn't work um, this is probably the lightest my pack's been and I've, I'm, I'm you know making making calls on what I think I'm going to want to take and what I'm going to leave behind and uh, I think that I'm getting to a acceptable base weight and we'll see how it works. Um, I don't know if it'll be the most scenic trail but it's definitely not what I'm used to. It's not a uh, western side of the Cascades forest where it's very leafy and um, you know tree covered and it's not a uh, you know cascade subalpine hike with tons of mountain views it's very much more uh, desert we're kind of just entering into the high desert in this area um, so it'll be interesting they say there's rattlesnakes on this trail but I highly doubt I'll see anything today but uh, I'll check in in a couple miles and we'll see how I'm feeling at that point now I am a firm believer in um, you know healthy 
nutritious eating while um, you know out on trail and so that's why today's lunch is really a lunch of champions um, so, you know if you're not eating the right foods out on the trail you're probably gonna get sick you're not gonna feel good you know you're gonna have inconsistent stools. Really, it's just you're in for a bad time, so that's why it's really paramount. You just eat as healthy as you can. And you just leave everything that's bad for you behind. You know, you can eat that when you're at home. When you got a toilet right next door, you know. But when you're out here. It can be deadly to eat bad. It's just kind of stupid, in my opinion. So, I'm about five miles in, maybe six at this point, and uh, not much has changed scenery-wise. It's pretty much the same stuff the whole way. There's some there's some cool bluffs and and rock faces, but um, I think I was right in predicting that it wouldn't be like you know stunning. Um, the trail's more of a, I, I think it's, it's supposed to be an old railroad grade, so it's, um, just like, basically, at this point, gravel road, the whole way, which is not the greatest, but, um, it's easy to walk on, at least. Uh, not super busy, had a few people pass me coming out, and a couple horses going in. But so far, I, I think it'll be a pretty um, lonely night. Um, not sure how far I want to go today. Uh, I'm feeling a little, um, I don't know, like I just kind of want to relax. You know, go for a few more hours and then just find a spot to, you know, just kind of lay down and enjoy myself. I don't necessarily think I need to exert myself so much, so you know, if I get to a spot here in an hour or two and and there's a nice looking camp I might just, you know set up early and just hang out for the rest of the day. So I'm uh I'm at around eight miles in now. I've Found a little path down to the river and getting a little bit of water. But uh, this is a uh, decent camp stuff in here. And I've really at this point just got to figure out how much further I want to go. Um, I don't, I'm assuming that there's decent, you know, campsites throughout a lot of what I have left. Stuff like this, you can't see it, and I'm a little preoccupied right now, but, uh, I'm an idiot. I don't know how to how to filter my own shit. <laughs> um, but I could set up here and just kind of relax for the rest of the day. It's only 2:45, so um, that might not be my best option. But uh, I could just sit here, kind of relax for a while, half hour, hour, and then you know crank out two more miles or so and figure it out. I am enjoying my my gear right now. Um, it definitely is one of the lightest setups I've given myself, which is encouraging because I'm going to need as light as I can get while I'm on trail. So that's nice. My biggest fear for the Pacific Crest Trail 
um, more so than anything else is rattlesnakes just because they have their rattle but they don't necessarily need to use it or they won't necessarily use it and I'm not a huge fan of the idea of just getting fucking bit by a venomous creature for no real reason. I'm glad it's a clear day relatively. It's gotten a little bit cloudy uh, as the day's gone on, but I think it'll be some decent stargazing tonight, so. So it's uh, 6.30 in the morning. I just bit my tongue. Got to camp. Uh, set up the tent. Set up all my stuff inside of it. I just passed out. Oh man, I was like excited to look at the stars and I but the goddamn fucking moon. Like I woke up in the middle of the night at like three. And you know a few other times. And every time the fucking moon was like some super bright LED street light. But now it's 6.30. I want to get home early. So I'm kind of just debating what kind of meal I'm trying to have right now. Other than that, no issues. No good night. Just trap lips. 7.30 in the morning now. Um, back walking. It's a little chilly this morning, um, and this is probably the first time I felt cold, so sleeping bag kept me warm all night, and just uh, shorts and a t-shirt, so that's nice. I, uh, I never set up the rain fly on my tent because uh, I didn't want to. I didn't think the moon was going to block me from seeing all the stars. So, I, uh, I let all the dew inside my tent, so it was a little bit wet on the floor and on the walls, but overall not too bad. I think if, you know, you bring in extra, or extra clothes to stay warm at night, and then you don't get cold, that's pretty good. It's good news. Um, so, we're 7.30. I'd like to be home, you know, early afternoon. Um, so kind of, it's, uh, it's good practice, I think, for doing 10 by 10s out on the PCT, um, because I will need to be doing, likely, you know, I'm starting in, um, you know, mid-May at Campo, so, you know, that's the desert in mid-May, basically summer, so it's gonna be pretty toasty, I think, on those mornings. When I'm starting out, honestly, through probably most of the trail for me, it's going to be pretty toasty. So, I got to, uh, I got to be do it, good at doing 10 by 10s, which are um, 10 miles by 10 in the morning. Which would basically put me back at the car today, if I, if I was able to get 10, 10 miles by 10 in the morning, and that would be awesome. It's almost 9 now. So... There's a mile marker right here that I can conveniently tell you pretty much exactly how far I've been since I left. Uh, it says six. So I'm about a little over four miles in at this point. Um, in hour and 
20 minutes, so not bad. 30 miles an hour is kind of my goal pace in any time I go backpacking, so. Uh, legs are feeling a little bit. Um, just like in the knees, but maybe a little bit in the feet. I don't think I have blisters forming. It doesn't feel like it, but you never know. Gotta be careful with that. Luckily, you know, I'm, it's not even nine and I'm getting pretty close to being halfway done already, so. So this trail, it's, um, it's where they were gonna put a railroad, or maybe they did. I think it's just where they were going to put a railroad a uh, long time back. So there's a few um, artifacts left around. This guy, it's a uh, old caboose, basically, I think. Or just maybe a train car, but. Passed it yesterday, got some cool photos, but it's, uh, it's really short. It's kind of hard to tell, probably from the angles, but I can barely stand up inside of it. Also, the, the wood is home to just a disgusting amount of like bees and hornets and wasps. So I kind of made up briefs last time I was in there, but it's pretty cool. I love finding stuff like this when I'm outside. So you can tell by my hair, it's, uh, it's a little windy for a couple miles there. It's uh, 1040 now and I can see the end of the river and the uh, and, uh, the bridge where I-84 crosses it, so I'm just about done. Just hit 11 o'clock, and my car is right down there. I can see it. I don't know if I voiced it or said it on camera here, so I don't know if I have proof, but when I left camp this morning, I was saying I was going to probably be back to the car at by 11 so you know no big deal just accurate to a t kind of the the perfect backpacker if you will all in all uh decent hike not the most scenic trail's not the greatest just because it's basically just gravel road the whole way so um Gosh, like the last one, like the uh, railroad one. I don't think it's one that I would do again. I'm glad I did it, but um, I've certainly done better. And I don't know if I'd come out here just to do the same thing. I also just really hate out and backs. So the fact that it's not a loop or like a, a you know, one way trip automatically takes it down and, and peg or two in my book, so. Um, I had rated a eh, out of, you know, whatever arbitrary scale I, I've created, and uh, uh, I don't know, I said I'd have fun, or I'd say I have fun. This was my uh, first pack packing trip without snow, and it was my first solo overnighter, so uh, could have been a lot worse. <laughs>